I knew, you know, from the moment that we got married, every moment, every time, every day, it was a blessing. The hardest day of Michelle Prisbill's life is one she always knew would come. In February of this year, at just 37 years old, her husband, Kevin Prisbill, lost his lifelong battle with cystic fibrosis. He was a person you never realized had that terminal illness. He was always that person who wanted to give back to his community. Lining the streets to show their respect, Kevin's extended family, hundreds of first responders. I lived with him every day. I saw him every day, but I didn't, I didn't truly understand how many people he touched until that day. Emergency services was in Kevin's blood. One of the youngest people to become a paramedic in New York State, he went on to be a 911 dispatcher, a volunteer firefighter, and an EMT for Mercy Flight. The lives that he impacted could only be counted in the thousands, if not tens of thousands of lives. And living with cystic fibrosis meant being exposed to even the smallest cold could turn deadly. But that never kept Kevin from his calling. The doctors didn't like him doing that because, you know, they didn't want him to uh, get an infection and things like that. You know, he just wanted to help people and he saw that, you know, he had this skill and he did. He was great at it. He was great at assessing, you know, people that were, were hurt or injured or, or sick and, you know, he knew exactly how to take care of them. How many people that have a terminal illness, okay, can put everything aside and come out and help somebody without a question? It didn't matter what was going on, what time of year, what time of day, he was always there to help and uh, he would never let any of his personal struggles get him down. In 2013, Kevin received a double lung transplant. That gift allowed the new father to continue serving his community. It also gave him time to be with his now seven-year-old son, Casey. Um, I fish with them a lot. They love to fish together. They did a tournament together. That was one of their favorite times. You know, he has all these memories that he would have never had if he had not had that transplant. And, you know, he, he gets to actually remember his dad. <sighs> to his first responder family, Kevin will be impossible to forget. At his volunteer fire company in Bowmansville, every truck now bears his name. It means Kevin's riding with us. And just to know that he's got our back, it, it gives us a little bit extra uh, confidence when we go out to help somebody. Though their time together was short, Michelle knows Kevin's spirit lives on today in the community, in Casey, and in her memory. And looking back, we had a lot of time. We had almost 15 years together. A lot of people don't have that. So I just feel blessed that I got that time with him because he was such an inspiration to so many people. May is National Cystic Fibrosis Awareness Month, and in honor of those fighting the disease, Michelle's hoping everyone takes this lesson from Kevin. Never give up on your dreams, because he never did. Katie Morse, 7 Eyewitness News.